Hi, and welcome to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Sorry for that abrupt ending. Hello, hey, hello. Welcome, hello. welcome. Hello. Yeah, for some reason, my um, <laughs> remote didn't want to work for a second. <laughs> and then it did. So last week we left off where he was um, just finishing asking Heidi or Gerda, whatever her name is, whoever, whichever personality we were talking to. <laughs> and uh, she, she basically told him to go find the key with Gygax. So we need to find the office where um, Watson is. Because I know um, the, the power cut out while we were busy getting that quest, so that is what happened. Press any button. There we go. Okay, so now we need to find a way upstairs. And how are you doing, Lewis? Hope you're well. It was a bit late today, so I needed to eat. I need to remember how to operate like this said slit. Okay. Yeah, today I didn't get to um Yeah, this is not the age of cell phones, so I can't text him quickly, can I? Yeah. How the heck? Okay, this is upstairs, yes. Okay, cool. And there's a person over there. How are we gonna get to Watson? Um, let's see. Ah, here we go. How to get to Watson? <laughs> We are seeking help from Watson and the path is blocked. Let's see. Nope. Maybe this one. Blocked paths. Ah, perfect. <laughs> um, I'm much better. Stomach muscles are just extremely sore, but otherwise I'm okay. Okay, the patient who claims to be Napoleon Bonaparte could help. Freeing him could create enough of a distraction to find a contact, find and contact Watson on the ground floor. Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay today. I'm uh, just eating toast at the moment. I don't want to, you know, upset my stomach again. Okay, now which one is Napoleon? Maurizio, what's this guy? Okay, one, two, one, two, three. It's two, three, one. Two, three, one, three, two. 
I'm so not gonna remember that. So let's do two, three, one, three. Then two, four. Go for Pete's sake. to the controls again. What time is it here? Uh, ooh, achievement unlock, lock, stock and barrel. Nice. It is half past three in the afternoon right now. Almost. 24 minutes past three. Cannot return after leaving. We should finish. Yes, I have finished everything. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spam your groveling, Englishman. Of course, you are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are <laughs> too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I am coming, Josephine. Josephine, come on. It's 6 a.m. Wow. That's early. You awake? And what's in my street? Watson. Watson. Thank you. Over here. Holmes? What are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. Mm. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, Hello I there. need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. Wh hey, ESG you are total. This on your own. Welcome. Focus, Watson. I need you to find a Thank key you for the be most unique. Hello. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I, I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. You usually wake up at four? Wow. I usually go to sleep at four. <laughs> Okay, so we are Watson now. Blood in the water. Someone Ew. must have washed their hands here recently. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? The only reason to hang something this harrowing here would be to create another patient. Twelve noon for... Yes. Sounds about right. Ooh, look at that. Did a child ID. A gun, really? Not that way, seriously. Perhaps I should take this. For all I hope it won't be needed. Yes, perhaps I should.
Eh? Where? He gets distracted by shiny objects. No, I shiny don't. Objects. It sparkles and shimmers, it shines and delights. I must have it for my nest. Guest room. <laughs> What's I doing? Ah, Dr. Yeah. Watson. Just the man I wanted to see. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kunz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Hey, Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watson. Uh, as you wish. You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read Good about morning. the Black Angel Vice Good and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. <laughs> I suppose my Edel Vice was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So... What exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him anymore. A colleague? The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had to leave. Mm hmm what are we looking at? Already, Doctor? <laughs> hey, Wes, how are you doing? Hey, Magic Day! Welcome, how are you doing? Uh, give Magic Day a shout out, please. I'm good, thank you. How you been? Good. Oh, that's awesome. Well, well, there you go. Um, admiring your office. Yeah, lost in thought is gonna make her want me want to put me in a freaking um straitjacket. I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth, but not in this form. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Dead. Watson back to the courtyard. <laughs> then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the doll. Yes, Professor. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come for you soon, Doctor. Alrighty. Evidence has been updated. 
Okay, let's see if we can wander around. I don't want to talk to him right now. Kitchen, can we go in here? Did you hear that a patient escaped? All the guards rushed off to find him. I did indeed. I let him out. That's the dumb waiter. It's dusty but functional. Oh, we never use that. I think it connects somewhere downstairs. Wanna see where I can go and where I can't. I don't remember something. Uh, clearly. Bayesian's poetry. A beautiful alpine flower whose heart I do miss so. You call to me while I don't see. How could I tell you to let go? The storm cuts through my senses, make all my thoughts so blind. With no captain, I miss reason. What did they truly find? Cold and dark with grimy walls, roughly held like animals. Trapped yet free, why do I fall? Something squirms on the trip of the tongue, but what can it be? What did I forget? Oh, you forgot everything, buddy. She cleansed your mind completely. Okay, so this, this guy. This area is off limits. A patient uh, has escaped. That is where um, Sherlock is back there. I don't want to guard block B tonight. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> I want them to fly. It's a nice baby. Miss. Not there anymore. This is the psych ward you never ever want to be in. Why not? Not even by accident. My son. He's such a sweet boy. Stop by a chair. <laughs> a visitor? No, no. You shouldn't have come here. Okay, so that's my room. Let's see if we can find some more evidence. Visitor from space, glowing meteor lands in Arkham. It's a door to go out. I hope you're finding your room comfortable, Dr. Watson. Well, there's, um... any water in my basin, so no. Fuck you. Examination room. So that's closed. For now. Administration. Let's snoop a little bit. October 1879. As more serious treatment is necessary. Okay, we are back, I think. Sorry about that. My internet, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's been doing that 
all day, it's like the third time it just goes off. That's really annoying me. But hopefully you guys are still here. Alrighty. So, as far as I can tell, the last place we were, it was here. Patient report. Okay, so we are in the admin room. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. The photograph seems recent. Okay. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Good lord, that's a lot of records. Yep, it is. I love these cabinets though. They're beautiful. Okay, is that everything? Let's move on. Okay, so I can't go back there because I've got everything already. Speak I to hope everything guy. is to your liking, Dr. Watson. Uh, kind of. So now we can't go back there. So where are we supposed to be go? Let's see, maybe there's a... Oh yeah, there is. Alrighty. Okay, so this is the patient's report when, the power, when my internet cut out. As more serious treatment is necessary, my special patient Wolf will be transferred to patient room number two on the ground floor. All other patients must be removed from my schedule and reassigned to other specialists at the institute. The patient's mental state requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable consequences. December. The necessary surgical procedures were successfully performed. Physical recovery is still in progress. Memory loss is increasing, but still not complete. Wow. A new obsession with writing has developed probably as a side effect. January. The patient's writing now mentions old names, clear sign of partial memory recovery. Unacceptable result. A second surgery is required, targeting both the frontal and temporal lobes. It's just like basically just removing their brains. Psycho. Surgery went well. The patient's memories does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes. Although an obsession with writing lingers. Danger eliminated. Daily monitoring prescribed. Yeah, no, this woman is totally psycho. Okay, so we got emotional, emotional damage. damage. 
am internet tell me about it well it's not really the internet it's more like the power goes out and damages stuff it's just like a, there's this domino effect how to lure Gygax out of her office Uh, maybe with wolf? So we still need some evidence, okay? Let's see the other one. Why does Gygax care about wolf? Well, that's the only one we've got, isn't it? Uh, patient. So that's the only one, okay? That one? Maybe. Investigate. Investigation. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of freaking <laughs> things to pick. Oh no. Okay. We need more evidence. Damn it. Okay, uh, clearly we missed something somewhere. Let's go see. Click on everything again. We've spoken to him in the kitchen. And we can't speak to her again. I suppose it will be one last invite for Mount to feed if he dies out there. My goodness. Yeah, that, that, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Rats in the kitchen. Room number two. You are Mr. Wolf, am I there right? We go. Oh, hello. Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, Doctor. I don't suppose you could help. I, I seem to have forgotten where I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. That is frustrating. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, what comes to mind? Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? Wow. We, we just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. 
We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is, well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's <laughs> just a little joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. Okay, let's abjure of him. Okay, severe chemical burns, faded with age. Facial palsy, one side is paral paralyzed. And two deep scars, precise surgical incisions. That's where she removed his brain. Okay, what else? Skin pigmentation, possible abuse of medicine. Okay, so an adult male with two deep surgical scars on the one side of his head and an old chemical burn on the one of his hands. Mr. Wolf has some paralysis of facial muscles and blue-gray pigmentation spots on his skin. These symptoms are most likely pre-existing and his admission to the Black Idlewise for treatment has so far failed to cure him. Uh, I think he's ill and the treatment is not working because it's not ill because of the treatment he was ill before he came here dear lord what did Gygax do to you? excuse me? Uh, who are you? oh n never mind okay now we should have more evidence to maybe figure this out. And maybe not that one, this one. Wolf is the former director. Oh, he's actually Professor Baker. <gasps> Holy cow. Wow. Okay. If Becker can still write, perhaps he could get Guy Gax's attention with a letter. Again. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson, and you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Edelweiss. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Wait, wait, let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. Uh, well, she is cruel and she is a poor director. Let's go with cruel. Dear Professor Gygax, your vile work has ruined countless lives through needless suffering. Your methods serve nothing but to show your own sick emotional state. You are not, as you so claimed, the future of the Edelweiss, and you never were. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. It's done. Now, hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all I... Ew. I feel alive. 
Any more questions? <laughs> Good heavens, <laughs> sir. You're as mad as they come. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. One of the patients there whispers to me all the time. He tells me such horrible things. Oh, I'm sure. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. Unbelievable. Kunz, with me. You're ready. Let's sneak into her office quickly. Let's see. Nothing special about this. Letter opener. Ooh, that's close, his. but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. I don't even remember what it looks like. Yeah. Dear Professor, we recently took possession of a collection of rare gems on behalf of our mutual acquaintance. The gems have now been sold to Louisiana jewelers. We make several offers far exceeding our experts' estimation of the stone's value. Final sale price is agreed upon. For the 11 gems was 12,550 Swiss francs. Our client has instructed that you receive two thirds of the sum. Transferred to your solicitor as per usual. As usual, your discretion is assured and we look forward to continued business with you and your illustrious patron. Your sincerely address in Orleans. Oh, there it is. An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Okay, what else? Yeah. It has been three months since I took over the Edelweiss from Becker. Not all my colleagues approved of the rule changes, so I'm now the only professor here. No matter, the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personnel shortage. At last, my work can flourish without the impairment of his lesser mind. First payment has arrived from R. Our deal does pose risks, but the possibilities are endless if he is due to his word. The first shipment of Chosen One has arrived. R has sent a vast selection of broken mines. The work ahead will be difficult, but undoubtedly useful for my own research as well. Wow, this woman is really psychotic. Houses. Nothing else? Okay, let's get out of here. Into the kitchen.
Alrighty, well, this is new. Let's see. So they're still singing that chant. But this must be the song that um, Gerda is hearing. This looks like a lift. Looks yeah. as if it's been recently used. What the heck is that? The new meta method there is achievement history check. Nice. The new method at last started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10. That's terrible. And the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regarding, uh, regardless of their native language or place of origin, Individuals learn to speak the chant, chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental autonomy. Regrettably, one of the chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only ignited their anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, geez, it seems all that was left was innate desire to resist. The chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see to it that I'll send to the well. It's horrific. Professor, trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present, and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And lo, the trance will begin, and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language. And time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day for a week. Of course, the most skeptical members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on physical method to maintain the trance state through the emitted light waves of the, of the calide lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the new shipment of Chosen. Make room for them as you have done before. R. R. B. B. T. S. Come on, just had you. Shiny key. Okay, the bank has the gems. My master had ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us. Hey. Mm. Plot seconds. Okay. Dynamo machine provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. I don't know if it's stimulation, but okay. I wouldn't call that stimulation. Full grain leather straps, impossible to escape. Birdies? Why the heck would she have birdies here? A very professional uh. brain dissection. Wow, she's not even a. I don't even think she's a doctor. Okay, what we got here? 
Get out of my head! Oh, uh, here we go again. Find reverence for the one that tremble. The great Lord. Cleft your body. Surrender your soul and become a servant of madness. Please, no more. Stop it. Watson, John, somebody. Wretched mortal, do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture Hello there. the world in you. Awaken and let the world behold. You better not not, not let her see us. Hey Bergwache, oh, thank you for the, the pretties. The is the light from the abyss. Oh. Get out of my head. Okay, so what is in here that we can... It's beautifully edged. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, a hydraulic elevator? How ingenious. Yeah. Lovely. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Dear God, is that... body parts? Yep, indeed. Achievement unlock. Gaze into the abyss. Yeah, I don't kick it. Okay. Where are we going now? I think I've got, got all of the evidence down here. That is out and it, oh, this is open now. It's a little classroom. Broken tooth, light colored the tooth enamel. Of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. Steel chain the and it's worn. Inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Okay. Yeah, that kind of does look uh, like that would be the the evidence. Okay, so it's just that one now. Oh, this is the chant, I think. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. Yeah, it's not a good idea for you to listen to it, um, open. Since, um, you know. 
the writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. Is that it? Let's see. Okay, so we need to go play that thing. Damn it. I don't want to. So we're gonna have to do that. Not yet. <laughs> Alrighty, now we've listened to it. The bizarre man was being held in the sub basement, he vanished without a trace. Only left a pounding voice that repeats the light of abyss. The man spoke about strange things and the coming of a great lord. Okay, way to now. Okay, now we've done everything down here. Let's hope uh, we don't get caught. Watson? Holmes? What are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered, on my word. <gasps> oh, wow. What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another she wrinkle did. in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. And the plot thickens yet again. Oh, Heidi got revenge. Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? Ah. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. Burn. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The patients here wear the same robes. We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. Oh, well, this psycho bitch is dead. That's a let go to go. She did a good thing. Yano. Psychotic as she is. Okay, what? Where does the evidence lead next? Okay, well, we need to find who R is. Uh, let's see. Telegram. Pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans, New Orleans, whatever you, however you pronounce it. It appears that kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of E. W. Gray to sell gems. Yeah, we're go go going to New Orleans. I've always wanted to go there. We 
We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Ain't we a thing? A trip? Method to his madness. There's mm. nothing in this world that cannot be explained <laughs> with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Hop, hop on the trail, let's go. <laughs> Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of Same shock. Same here, road fear. trip. Yeah, let's go. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, <laughs> numb beyond recognition. Hop powerless on the train, to too. Themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of a person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? <laughs> I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. Is any button to put it here? The Nymph of Louisiana. I love those, uh, those boats. Beautiful. Your days. Ah, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! Hello. Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Stop. A very heavy accent. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put everything back. Uh, where are the socks? Ah, not an auspicious start, is it? Never mind, I'll handle it. You go on ahead. There's the jewels. The banking houses e of E.W. Gray will be hosting a closed auction. Black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rare stones. However, the bank clerk, Ms. Mrs. Zoe Clemens, has confirmed the authenticity of each stone. I bet she has. Okay. Can I ask anybody? That's so pretty. 
Where are you at, gentlemen? Here to enjoy yourselves? Nope. Black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E. W. Gray. E. W. Going once. Okay, I suppose we need to go find. It's a cute buggy. Oh, thank you for following, Kelly Catnaps. A spot in mind. Uh, Actually, I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I have no idea where to go now. Hey, horsey. You know where I need to go? Yeah, there's a signboard here. Anything? Look for missing. Sun Tao, 34, last seen in Chinatown, New Orleans Sheriff's Department. Wow, there's lots of people missing. More people missing here, too. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. That's silly. Uh, why would you not? Sightsee in New Orleans. I saw something over there. You hear from this Discord? Ah, oh, thank you. That is awesome. Welcome. Yeah, I'm doing well. Hope you are good. Giddy Gator Bar. That is a good name for a bar, the Giddy Gator. Okay, can you, can, can you go, please? Thank you. To that person with the. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the sort of thing? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Clearly, I can't get to him yet. That mumbling noises are just so weird. Can't go in there.
being in the corner. That's blocked off. Graveyard. That's blocked off. Can't speak to you. Wow. Looks really mucky. Swampy. Fisherman's quarter, okay. Just want to loot everything. <laughs> Crocodile. It was an alligator, sorry. I don't have crocodiles, so I've got alligators. Yeah, the bank must be here somewhere. Shipping company. This is Chinatown, okay. We thought get so lost in this place. Chinatown, okay. We found Chinatown. And looting is what I do. <laughs> It's another kitty. Shop. Tobacco. Oliver's barber shop. Barber shop. Yeah, we haven't been this side. Must be this side then. These buildings look very bankish. This is a Jamestown, okay, Mr. sign. Frank there we go. Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Observe, yes, please. For it, squints, myopia. Okay. Hidden tabloid newspaper, Abe Lincoln alive. Something in his pocket, a sandwich. This guard at the bank is a real character, storing a sandwich in his pocket to save time. While reading, being, or while reading Abe Lincoln alive, makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Myopia is a result of constant reading to the de detriment of one's own health. Critical thinker? Oh, I'll call him a critical thinker. The guard, um, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's say we are Frank Bonner. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Darn it. Let, let me be frank. Achievement. 
Oh, and it got a shotgun. You got a shotgun. Over here. Any luck? No. None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby will be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Why do I have a feeling he's either at the Gabby Gator, or the Gentleman's Club on the water? How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. This place has a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. See, I've got a feeling it's that guy over there. Yeah. How on earth do I, do, do I get there? What's on? Did you put on my way? Definitely do not have enough evidence. Uh, let's go see. I'm gonna go to the boat on the water. So I've got a feeling this Barnaby character might be either there. This is definitely not in uh, Giddy Gator. Go on, don't be shy. We have something for everyone. Okay, it's not there. America, Holmes. I never thought I should be so lucky as to visit. Hmm. Maybe the hotel? See, where are we? Because it's only the bank here, yeah, there's nothing else. Doesn't exactly tell us where this where Mr. Barnaby is going to be found.
Maybe he's close by. We hope. We go up the road a little bit. Jeez. It's a cameraman. Imagine walking around with something like that. Making movies. He is not close by. Imagine showing one of those people a cell phone. Imagine how blow people's mind if you could go back in time. And just show them a cell phone. I mean, like, even if you had to go back to the 80s and show someone a cell phone, I think you'd totally, totally blow their minds. Like, completely and utterly. would say something. Yeah. Where the hell would Barnaby be if I was a Barnaby? Barnaby, where are you? There's a chick here earlier. It's a bathroom. I haven't e seen any doors that I, I can even access. You still haven't picked These, up the uh, stuff? Handcuffs. <laughs> Are they yours? No, dude. Oh, this never happens to me, sir. Honest. Ask anyone. Well, then get to picking the stuff up then, damn it.
New Orleans port. Let's see if we can go in here. Nope. Oh, yeah. person I could actually speak to was the buggy on the other side. Can't speak to these people. Should go in there. Yeah bro, do you know who Barnaby is? Yeah, no. Truly, a change of scenery does wonders for one's constitution. I feel invigorated. Speak to anybody. Oh, you know what? Do I have this pinned? My goodness. <laughs> I forgot to pin the bloody evidence. No wonder. There we go. Excuse me, just one question. I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Ah, uh, he owns a shop in China. Okay, hidden gems. Easy peasy and ask the right guy the first time. May I ask you something? I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately I don't. Yes, thunder answer. Are you able to help me? I'm sorry, you should search for answers somewhere else. Well, this is Chinatown, and uh... May I ask for your assistance? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not angry, just freaking tell me what the sh- Are you is. able to help me? Don't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. Is this familiar to you? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. Ready. I didn't see anything called Barnabies. Are you able Do to you help? Know? Me? Yeah, don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Are you able to help me? I'm sorry, you should search for answers somewhere else. Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, first I've heard of it. <laughs> of my curiosity? <laughs> Are you able to help me? I'm sorry, you should search for answers somewhere else. Could you help me? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better. So. It's yeah. polite. We'll get out of my way. I want to ask that dude. Ugh. Yeah, I can't answer. Let me ask him. Can I ask you? And I did ask these two. Here it is, one of his gems. Oh my lordy. Locked. No one's here. Okay, so Barnaby is not in his shop. Maybe now we'll go to Gator Place. May I ask you something? What makes you think I can be of any help? 
What did I know? What do I know? Are you able to help me? No, never heard nothing. Never heard nothing. Uh, thank you, Wes. Don't mind. Move the damn chair out of my way. Can I ask you a question? No, fast I've had of it. Cannot uh, find the right place. He's hey, definitely up. not here. Although I think he's the person laughing in the middle of that place. Do you know anything about this? What makes you think I can be of any help? Ow. Can you satisfy oh. my curiosity? I don't want to disappoint you, but I'm clueless. <laughs> well, that's disappointing, darling. Can I ask you a question? No, first I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask you something? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. Ooh, did you just slap me, cow? Okay, so let's go back to this place and uh, see if I can get in here now. Someone has to bite the bullet and love you. <laughs> Why not start with a drink and see where things take you? Yeah, well, like getting somewhere. My girls don't talk. Your wives will never know. My girls don't talk. Your wives will never know. Okay. Apparently, I can't go in there. Excuse me, just one question. You better ask someone else about that. But I want to ask you, dude. Me, please. Yeah, don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. What do you know? May I ask for your assistance? You better ask someone else about that. Could you help me? I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> Do you know, Wussy? Oh gosh. Okay, I am going to call it there because the thunder is getting really loud outside. Sounds like someone, Thor has got his hammer out, banging on my roof. So I am going to say goodbye and I will see you guys later on YouTube. I'll be streaming some more Conan. So thank you very, very much everyone for hanging out with me and uh, have an absolutely wonderful afternoon or evening, afternoon, morning, whatever, wherever you are. <laughs> this thunder is uh, noisy and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.